Hi friends, it's Tiny Voice. Um, thanks for joining me for my next video. This is going to be the first of a series of videos that I plan on doing and I'm going to entitle them Refab My Bag. So for those of you that are interested in revitalizing any leather goods that you may have, whether you're a reseller or not, um, this is a great way to save money on um, leather items, whether it is for sourcing purposes, because there are a lot of really nice overlooked things at the thrift store and leather wear because it has some minor wear to it or some damage that is easily fixable and people will uh, not purchase it because they just don't want to bother with it. So it's always good to look for these things when you're out thrifting or maybe you have some uh, items that you really love and you don't want to part with, but they're just not in a presentable condition for you to use right now. And you've just been holding on to them because you don't want to throw them away and you don't want to donate it. Um, so th this is something that you can do to revitalize your leather goods so they're usable again. So um, I'm going to do kind of like a progressive... Uh, I'm not going to call it a course because I am not a professional at cleaning leather. I am in no way endorsing how I do it. This is just what I do and what works for me. Um, and along my journey, I've found some things that work better than other things. So we're going to start off really easy. Um, the easiest leathers to start off with are black leathers because you can find... Uh, lots of different items in black and black is the easiest leather to do touch-ups and stuff on this is that um, envelope demure bag that I thrifted a week and a half two weeks ago and if you didn't see that that is on a previous uh, thrift video of mine but um, we're just going to do a really quick touch up this bag I paid four dollars and ten cents for and it is vintage it is from I would say the 80s I believe in my last video I was like oh that seems familiar that demure brand I think I have one like it or one that I picked up I do and I found that in my closet this is another envelope style uh, handbag clutch however you prefer but um, it's beautiful, it's a beautiful navy blue color. It's still in that soft, silky leather. And this is another bag that is in really nice condition. Everything is great on it. The insides are nice and clean. This one I paid $3.10 for. So you can see how, you know, I, I think it just matters on either who's pricing it or where you're purchasing it from, but they're the same brand, the same, style bag and there's like a dollar difference between them but this one has because of the color I would say this is a little bit of a higher step in the process of repairing it because it is going to require leather painting and you have to do a little bit of color matching to do leather painting which is a little bit harder it's not really hard but it's a little bit harder than what we're going to do today um, and so I'll save this bag for another video. But for example, of color painting that I've done, uh, leather painting, um, this Cole Haan bag I thrifted uh, three or four weeks ago. I picked it up for myself. It was in really, really, really bad condition. Like the color was just coming off of it like crazy. The corners were tore up all of this up here like and on the back all of this was um the color was off of it it was basically kind of like flaky bare looking and it was at the base leather but other than that and the inside was stained the inside was stained really bad but other than that the condition of this bag is really nice the quality of this bag is beautiful and i love the shape of this bag it is so stinking cute and I think I paid a little bit up for it uh, because of the condition that I was in I paid nine dollars 
uh, for it, which was half of what they were asking for. It was 50% off. They originally wanted 18 at the thrift store, and I got it 50% off, so that was nine. But um, I did color correcting a lot on this bag, and this was my first attempt at color matching and color correcting on a bag, and I think I did a pretty good job, uh, especially with this being a, I would say this is a somewhat difficult color because it required um, me to mix uh, three colors together to recreate the original color of the bag. And as you can tell, you might be able to see where it was color corrected in some spots, but you have to really look for it. You have to really look. And for being able to take this bag out, being able to use it, making it presentable again, nobody is going to know that this bag has been painted because it, it it's very subtle. You can't tell. And unless you're like a purse expert and you're like getting up in front of the purse and like inspecting it really closely, you'll be able to tell them because as an amateur, you know, it is an amateur job. But for going out and about on town, you know, just doing whatever, nobody's going to know. Nobody's going to know. All they're going to see is, oh, that is a cute Cole Haan bag. They're not going to know, oh, that Cole Haan bag has been painted all over the place. They're not going to be able to tell. And the inside was super stained, like really, really stained, really bad. And it's this thick, like, vinyl pink, um... Cloth. and I'll show you the Kohan symbol or the label, Kohan label. But the all of this was like stained with ink, and I got this out. I will show you the product that I used to get that out with. I love this product. You just have to be careful because you don't want the color to bleed. And this product, if you're not careful about um, quickly blotting it and getting it out of the, the cloth in a, a goodly amount of time, the color will bleed. But I get this from the Dollar Tree, and I swear by this. I use this on my kids' clothes. I use this on my clothes. I, I've used this on the handbags, like that Cole Haan I just showed you. I used this to take those stains out, and it works great, but it is very strong. So if you're using it on handbags, uh, color, you know, test it first in an inconspicuous area because you don't want your color to bleed. And this will take the stain out. It works great, and it's only a dollar at Dollar Tree. And the oxygen power, I totally believe in it. It works. And... I need to use it on my uh, son's jeans that he brought home yesterday. He wore, he got grass stains all over them, but it takes grass stains out really well. Okay, so for what we're doing today, we are going to be cleaning this beautiful black leather envelope bag, vintage 80s, very chic, um, and it, it doesn't take but a few products that you can get at your local Walmart, our local department store. Um, I am using this Lexol deep conditioner. And for the most part, most of the time, I have also used this Lexol um, leather cleaner. But this stuff is pretty strong. And you want to be careful when you use it because it depends on the quality of the leather. Um, some of the cheaper leathers, they don't put a a good a quality um, glazing and stuff on their leather so this will actually take some of the the dye out of the leather and then you'll be left with patchy leather so you want to be very careful when using this and dilute it dilute it dilute it and just use it very sparingly you don't need a lot a little bit goes a long way I would recommend if you are going to use a leather cleaner that you wipe the bag off first with some warm water and dish detergent. Very slightly damp cloth, not soaking wet, just damp, and just wipe it down and then just use a little bit of this cleaner if you feel it's necessary. But for the most part, I have found that using this deep conditioner 
works just a, it, it works better than even using the cleaner most of the time this conditioner takes out any little marks or anything on the bag so i would stick to this and i would only use this for heavy duty projects but this is available at walmart in the automotive department it's safe for uh, leathers it's not safe for suede or nubuck or untreated leather if you have suede nubuck or untreated leather leather you have to have a special product for that so always make sure to read the labels on the back of your leather cleaning things to make sure you are using the right product for the right leather all right so what we're going to do is because this bag is not in that bad of shape we're just going to lightly condition it and then the corners are slightly as you can see the color is worn off of the colors and we are going to correct that very easily all you need and this can be found in your shoe department probably at walmart meyer kroger whatever your local um department store is but this kiwi black leather dye will work on your purses on your shoes on your leather coats um just make sure that it is treated leather not untreated okay always make sure to read your labels and make sure the product you're using it goes along with the product that you're going to use it on but um we're going to get a little bit of this conditioner you have to shake the bottle up make sure all the goodness is mixed up inside and we are not going to use a lot of conditioner a little bit goes a long way and i kind of spread it out you want a microfiber cloth. I kind of spread it out in a small area and then I smush it together and get it saturated in the cloth before I start wiping because you don't want a whole lot of that just plopped right on the, the leather. You just want to lightly go over it, see how it does, how it reacts with the leather. I can already see it's taking off some of the blemishes that were, were um present on here it's working really good i'm gonna uh, put the camera down so you can see what i'm doing okay but you're just gonna wipe just get it on and you don't even have to be like just little circular motions. And you can see that the leather is just sucking that right up. It's like, it's just like moisturizing your skin. When your skin is dry, we put lotion on it so it doesn't get crackly and ashy. And these bags are made out of skin. So this is like giving your bag some nice yummy lotion that it can soak up there's some marks right here sorry about my birds they're awake and very active right now but look how nice the leather is starting to look I might not even have to use the uh, the leather dye on these corners. We'll see. We might not even have to use it. Look at that. Yeah, we might, we'll probably have to do a little bit of a touch up, but that conditioner, it works wonders on this leather. I mean, absolute wonders. Now see, here's a white mark on here. I don't know if you can see that. There, see the white mark here? Now a lot of times your conditioner 
will take that right out. You just rub very gently in a circular motion. And it's starting to come out. And look at that, it's gone. You didn't have to use anything else but your conditioner. Now don't be alarmed. Now there is a little bit of the dye. That's the, that's dye, but that's a little tiny amount. Don't be alarmed if you see that. You only need to be alarmed if you start seeing like discoloration happen on your bag. And if you see dye coming off in big chunks, you are going to have a little bit of dye come off when you condition your bag. But it should, it should be minimal. It shouldn't be very much. And that doesn't hurt your bag at all. It's still pretty. It still looks good. It's still protected. Okay. So we've got this all nice and wiped down. It's all nice and conditioned. Um, the only thing that I'll probably do, I, I normally take like a baby wipe or you can even take a shout wipe if, um, if you prefer, but just to wipe out the inside, although the inside of this is really clean. There's no debris or anything inside of this, so it's already clean. I really don't need to. You don't want to introduce any more products than what you have to to the bag, especially um, for the person that is buying it because you don't know what they prefer. I just like to get the bag nice and clean. I like to use gentle products and I like to use as few chemicals as possible to keep the integrity of the leather. Um, now, what we're gonna do for this part, and it's super easy, we're gonna shake this up. Shake that up real good. And I might have to pop the top on it. Oh, maybe not. Okay, and what we're gonna do, because this is a brand new bottle, so I have to kind of get the, let me grab a, a, towel, a paper towel. Okay, so I got a paper towel and a little plate. We're going to get this dye to come out down here. There we go. See, that didn't take much at all to get it to come out. You just got to press down a little bit. And for these corners, we are just going to barely dab that on. It doesn't require much at all. So you just dab it on. Just brush it very gently. that corner and this does have a bit of a smell because it is a dye but it, this doesn't require hardly any dye at all like the wear on the corners is so minimal And like I said, you can use this on any of your leather products that are treated leather. Um, if you have, okay, now see there's a little bit right here we're going to correct. We're going to put that right on there and it's going to soak it right up. And what I like to do, a trick that I found that works really good when you're painting or dyeing your items you let them dry part way. So let it dry part way. 
And then you're gonna take your conditioner, very, very small amount of conditioner, and go over it with your conditioner again because it's gonna buff out any indiscrepancies between the, the dye or the paint and the actual uh, leather itself. And that's what I did on that cold Han bag. Like the paint on there was very um, thick and leather paint dries super fast. Like it dries really, really fast. So you have to work very fast. And that's why I say it's more of an advanced technique. It's not as easy to do as just applying the dye. What I'm going to do on here because I see some light scuffing. I'm going to add this um, dye. I'm going to let it set for a minute. And then I'm going to use a microfiber cloth and wipe it so it doesn't dry with that mark on there. Okay, so we're gonna wipe it off, buff it in, you buff it in really good, and when you go over that the next time with your conditioner, no one will even be able to tell, they will not even know that there was a mark there. Look at that guys, it's nice and shiny and clean. All I have to do is let the dye uh, dry for a little while. They recommend 12 hours, but I'm gonna wait 24. Um, I'm gonna let this dry for 24 hours before I apply another coat of conditioner to it. And then after that, it's ready to list and resell. So that is the end of our first uh, refab my bag video. Um, if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up and uh, leave a comment for me down below if you have any questions. Um, and I will be doing another video on a little bit harder technique for our next refab my bag. Uh, leave me any comments if um, you have requests about uh, videos to do. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be posting another video soon. Bye!